Plus, who doesn't love fluff? Hundreds gathered to celebrate the sticky, sweet hometown favorite's birthday. And VB is going to be speaking to a very special fluff guest. That's true, Casey. The person who said heavy is the head that wears the crown clearly met this crown once upon a time. We'll show you the person who's going to get this when we come back. Stick around. What weather was not enough to dampen the fluff fest. Hundreds gathered yesterday in Somerville to pay homage to the marshmallow spread made right here in Massachusetts. From comic books to music, it was all about the fluff. The annual event taking place in Union Square to celebrate Fluff's 101st birthday. No shame. No shame about the fluff on the face. It actually tastes pretty good. What was on it? Uh, anchovies, ham, pepperoni, hummus, ch uh, a lot of stuff. The event also featured the flufferettes and fluff hairdos. They even named the fabulous pharaoh of fluff. I think we might be learning more about that. Fabulous Carol Fluff. Yeah. Are we going to do that, Phoebe? Oh, my ah. goodness gracious. Look at that. That is the fabulous Pharaoh Fluff right there with Phoebe. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, uh, your, your, your Highness. Is that proper? I think that would be accurate. Your yeah, Pharaoh. that works. That yeah. works for me. Uh, now, I'm sure Phoebe's going to ask you some questions, but I'm very anxious to find out how you become the fabulous Pharaoh Fluff. Well, there's no real particular training involved. It's really just a desire, a love of fluff, a love of fun, and uh, putting yourself out there. Mm. Bibi, is it difficult to find words to express your emotions when you're around such greatness? Let me just say this, fabulous Pharaoh of Love. You're so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Chris Farley, Gino. I mean, come on. <laughs> and look at that crowd. Does it get any better than that? Are no. you kidding me? That's pretty fab. This is, I, I'm, I'm proud. Where's the speech? Where's the speech? Give me, uh, she had a, there was a little election at the uh, festival yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just give me a, the last, well, give me that. All right. Let's see if there. you can do that justice. I can't, but uh, in order to ensure sticky fingers in our more perfect union square, I like that line, <laughs> and to promote the general marshmallowiness. It's a uh, word now. <laughs> we do ordain and establish fluff, the tasty mortar that holds together the bread that is the United States of America. Well, wow. Yeah. wow, that is touching. Thank you. That's Let's sticky. see the pose. Let's see the fluff, the pharaoh of fluff pose. Oh, uh, awesome. Mm. Very good. So now, what, what duties come with being the pharaoh of fluff? It's mainly to promote the love of fluff and uh, the, the marshmallowy fun How deep that is, is your love of fluff? <laughs> I mean, I, let's get to the quick. I think it's as deep as it can go. Oh, mm. truthfully, I, I, I love this stuff. How can you not? That was a deep comment to make, too. <laughs> you understand? You know I hear you. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is expected. This is no willy-nilly, oh, I get to go on Halloween as the fluff ambassador. No, no, you are the fluff ambassador. No, I, I, do, I do understand that, and I take my position very seriously. Were you to misstep, you can be removed, and we can get a new one. Quite, I'm, I'm afraid of that. I know, you know, I know how tough it is to stay in line these days, and mm -hmm. I, I want to make sure that I do both uh, Somerville and Union Square and, you know, all of Fluff Nation proud. Ms. Farrow, were, were there a number of people who were vying for this position as well? Sure. Or? There were. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was up, up against maybe five others. Mm. Mm. The competition was pretty stiff, and I understand that it, it came Unlike down the, to the, the wire. Unlike the substance itself. No, mm -hmm. it, ironically, right. That's very uh, true. Pharaoh Fluff, I have a question for you. Yes. Is it against Pharaoh Fluff regulations for someone else to wear the crown, even just for a moment to try it on? Um, well, let me tell you this before she answers, Gino. There are, there are Fluff Festival representatives here who are taking the crown back so that she doesn't screw around with it until <laughs> her next official appearance. We need appearance. to see oh, you great. wearing the crown I don't get of the, to fluff, keep the, crown. the fluff pharaoh. It has to be done. I, Queen Elizabeth doesn't let me wear her crown when well, she's in town, Jim. We party, but I don't wear her crown. If the you're queen. open to it, I'm I am certainly open to it. I, is it a six and three quarters? Uh, <laughs> it, it, it'll be. It can be. Wow. Whew, I wasn't prepared for this, Gino. Right, here we go. Wow. What do you think? I am. Uh, wow. <laughs> that is. That is. Uh, as I know, 
Can you feel the I know how much you love the fluff, Phoebe. This is going to be a big moment for you in your career. I have said life. this many times in my life, but never have I meant it more. I have been fluffed. <laughs> Gino, in honor of him wearing the, uh, the, the crown, could you sing around? I can whistle it. He okay, doesn't know the ahead. words. He still doesn't know the words. Go ahead, Gino. please. I'll, I'm going to do a little beatboxing. Oh, oh okay. Dun, 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 dun. First you spread, spread, spread your bread with peanut butter. You gotta get these words down, I'm, Pharaoh. Well, you were doing such a good job with it. I didn't want to walk to the peanut butter. butter. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am a little woozy. This thing is heavy, Gino. Don't kid you. Again, unlike the product itself. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, I'm my not, friend. I, I can't. I can't Very continue. Hey, uh, VB. Yes. Could the, could the uh, Empress, uh, what is her? Well, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, I'm sorry. Pharaoh. I called her an Empress. So. Could the, does the Pharaoh have a first name besides Fluff? She did, but now she's the Pharaoh. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm to be Christina, strictly the, the woman the you know is, it's like the Pope. Forget the real name now. Christina is dead. You are the pharaoh. Well, formerly known as. Yeah. It's Christina. Christina yeah. Yeah. I was formerly known as Christina, yes. Christina, you're a good sport. <laughs> here's, what I, here's what we need before we go. Christina, you're going to have to stand up and walk like an Egyptian for us. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I just these told are, the pharaoh are, what to do. Yeah, these, these are modern times. We, we have, is you know, and, and I can't neutral, quite get my hand over the top of my head. Yeah. So. That wasn't bad, though, Gino. Did you see the? We, that's okay, what I'm that, talking good. That's, that's Hey, by the way, can I give you another quick update on something going on in Cambridge other than the Fluff Festival? Remember we had the spinach eaters in on Friday? Yes. Yeah. Yes, who won? Uh, I'm going to say it was, uh, no, it was uh, Betsy's boy. Betsy's boy finished third. <laughs> he ate three and a half pounds of spinach in 10 minutes. Oh. Pretty boy won eating seven pounds. Wow. Oh. All told, the competitors <laughs> ate over 40 pounds of cooked spinach in a driving rainstorm. The guys over at Be Good in Harvard oh. Square, who, by the way, have brought some burgers back for all of us, sands the spinach, uh, said it was an unbelievable event. In spite of the weather, 40 pounds consumed. It'll be up on their website at begood.com if you missed Good it. For them. About an hour after the competition was over, his name was not so pretty. Boy. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? As I like we throw, as we throw it back to you, can we give you one more Pharaoh dance? Please. Please Why doesn't the Pharaoh take us out to break with yeah, some type of great. words of wisdom or an Egyptian dance? Something. Eat your fluff. <laughs>